What's up everyone? Welcome to part four of our pose estimation tutorial series. And in this one, we're going to continue with 3D pose estimation. So in the previous video, we plotted all the key points for the body. Well, now what we're going to do is add the lines connecting all those to get our 3D stick figure. So we've got a lot to cover, so let's get into it. Let's begin by doing a quick recap of what we've done so far. So in part two, we looked at the simple case of doing 3D pose estimation on a static 2D image. And we also borrowed some 3D animated code from an earlier series to use as a base. And then in the previous video, part three, we used our webcam and we pointed it at ourselves, and we computed the key points for our body. And then we plotted those key points in our graph. So it was animated. So every frame we calculate the key points and we display them as dots in our 3D environment. Now what we're going to do is add those connecting lines to give us the full stick figure. So the starting point again is going to be the code that we left off with in the previous video. So I've got that open here. And now what I want to do is show you how the lines are generated based on the GitHub code that we've been using so far. So I'm going to jump over to the run.py file. And then what I'm going to do is come down to this plot pose. So if I scroll down, it's all the way at the bottom, but you can see here, we're taking our pose 3d and remember our pose 3d is all our key points. So what we're doing is we're calling some function called plot pose and we're passing our key points and then we're showing it. So what we need to do is jump over to another Python file and see what this plot pose is actually doing. So now if I scroll all the way back up to the top, you can see that we're importing plot pose from lifting.draw. So within the lifting folder, there's a file called draw.py and within that file, there's a function called plot pose. So I'm going to jump over to the draw.py file and you can see the function plot pose. So we're passing in our key points. You can see here, these are our key points that we're passing in. And what it's going to do is plot those key points in 3D. So it's going to have the key points, the dots, and the lines connecting them. So now let's just quickly go through this function, get a high level of what it's doing. So there's this list called connection. So this is going to be important for us to show those lines that we want to connect all those key points. So we're going to need this later. And within this function, there's another function, which is basically just doing the colors of each line. So we're actually going to ignore this. So I'm just going to collapse it. And here we're just creating some figures, some 3d matplotlib figures. So we'll ignore that as well. Then we get to an important part. So we're going to loop over our connections list. So for C in connections, the color you can see here is just specifying the color. So we can ignore this, but we're going to do this plotting. So these points, each portion is a list. So it's going to be basically X1, X2, Y1, Y2, Z1, Z2. So we're going to be plotting two points per loop iteration. So that's basically going to give us one line per loop iteration. So remember pose each point or each item in pose is going to be a key point. So it's going to have two points. So think of the zero as like the X's, the one as Y's, the two as Z's, and then here is which one. So you can think of it as like X one or X zero X um, one or the second one in the list. And then it's Y zero Y one Z zero Z one. So that's what it's doing. So just remember each loop iteration, we're plotting one segment of the line. So now what we're going to do is take this same functionality and bring it to our code. So now what I'm going to do is jump back over to our code and I'm going to come to the init method 
and right after I call our model and our camera, we're gonna create a few things. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a dictionary and this dictionary is gonna hold all our line segments. So I'm just gonna call it self.lines and it's just gonna be equal to an empty dictionary right now. Then what I'm gonna do is copy our connections but instead of calling it connections, it's gonna be self.connections. So these are just all those pairs from our list connections in the draw.py file. Cool, so that's it for here. Now what we need to do is just like where we created all these points, we're gonna to need to create all our lines. So it's gonna be a for loop and I'll show you how that's gonna work right here. So we're just gonna come down below here and we're gonna do for n comma PTS for points in enumerate. And what we're gonna enumerate over is self dot connection then what we're gonna do is we're going to add a GL line plot item into our dictionary. So for each, each line, we're going to add an entry into our dictionary. So self.lines, and then we're going to specify the index. So that's why we have enumerate, we'll do N, and it's gonna be equal to GL dot capital G, capital L line line plot item yeah cool oops get rid of that asterisk and then we're going to do the pos and what it's going to be is we're going to take our key points and we basically just need a numpy array that's got the first two key points and we're going to use the connections as our indices to specify which key points we need. So it's gonna be a numpy array, so np.array, then it's gonna be a list, and our list is gonna be the two key points that are specified by the points indices. So it's gonna be key points, then it's going to be p for p in pts. So for every point, we're getting two numbers. So basically we're looping over these. So every point we're getting like, say zero, one. So we're gonna take key point zero and key point one. Next time we're gonna do key point one, key point two. And you can see it kind of just follows that pattern, except for sometimes where it's like eight and 11 and a few other cases where it's not consecutive, but that's the pattern we need to do. So that's gonna be POS. And next, we're just gonna specify the color. So the color is gonna be pg.glcolor. And we're just gonna do blue. So 0, 0, 255. So we'll have blue lines. Next thing we're gonna do is specify the width. And I'm just gonna specify it as three. And finally, anti-aliasing, we're gonna set that equal to true. So that's it for creating all our GL line plot items. And we've populated our lines dictionary with all of them. So the last thing we need to do is add them to our window. So now we come here and we're still inside the for loop. We're gonna call self.window. Then we're gonna do add item. And what we're going to add is self.lines, and we're going to add the nth one. And that's it. That's all we need to do for the init method. So now we need to do a little bit more work to the mesh method. So let's come on down to the mesh method. And actually, sorry, we're going to be updating the update method. So we're going to come here. So Remember what this does is we read some frame from our camera. We try and get the key points by calling mesh and passing the image. We get our key points. If we get an insertion error, that means there's no body in the frame. But if we do, or if we don't get an error, then we're gonna come here. And here we're just updating our points. So now what we also wanna do 
is update our lines. So again, we're gonna have to loop over them. So we're going to do for n comma PTS in enumerate, and we're gonna be reusing a lot of the code. So we're looping over self dot connection. And then what we're gonna do is call self dot lines and which one we're gonna update is the nth one. And we're just going to set the data for it. And all we're gonna do is update the POS. So again, it's just gonna be some NumPy array and it's gonna be a list and it's gonna be the key points. And we take the P for P in PTS. So basically the exact same thing as above. And that's gonna be it. So I think those are all the changes that we need to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this and see what we get. Hey, look at that, first time. So here you can see we've got our key points and we've got our lines connecting our key points. So now what I'm gonna do is just spin this around so it's kind of more facing me. That way, yeah, so now you can see I'm sort of facing the camera. You can see my arms going forward. Hmm. Let me spin it around again. It does kind of get confused which way is forward and what's not. So I've got my, my arms out forward, my arms out to my side, my arms out to my side. Jeez, this thing likes to, likes to dance around. But yeah, so I can squat, stand back up, put my arms up, Let's just spin this, put my arms up, lift one leg. And yeah, you can see it's, it's basically what we want. It's our 3D pose estimation. And we're getting about three frames per second, which ideally we would be going a little bit faster, but this is the best we can do. So yeah, um, this is gonna do it for the 3D pose estimation portion. I'm going to try and see if I can optimize the code at all. If I find anything, I'll post it. If not, um, this could be the last one in our pose estimation series. But I hope you guys liked this series, found it useful, found it interesting, and you were able to follow along and maybe do something else cool with it. So like always, if you've got any comments or questions, leave them below or use the Facebook group. If you like the video, give it a like, and if you really like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button. It really helps out. I'm really excited for all the support you guys have been giving, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscriptions. So thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.